Am I gonna get in? I have no idea. <laughs> I am fully freaking out right now. It's feeling very, very real at this point. AMM has made it into my dreams. That's how you know that I'm stressing out about it. Five days, three hours, and 25 minutes. That is insane. <laughs> I've basically been in a pit of anxiety <laughs> for the last week. <gasps> Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Author Mentor Match Experience vlog. So basically, it's currently December and round eight of Author Mentor Match is starting in January. So right now it's kind of like all the prep work, but I decided to participate. I believe the submission window is from the 11th to the 14th of January, so it's not a lot of time. They have a countdown on the website and it's quite stressful to look at, but I really wanted to do something at the beginning of 2021 to try to get my publishing journey started and I thought that Author Mentor Match would be the perfect thing to kind of kick off the year and try to do because I just think having a mentor would be absolutely incredible and so invaluable to have in the publishing industry. So we're gonna try. Am I gonna get in? I have no idea. <laughs> I thought that it'd be really fun to document this experience for you guys. Whether you want to join it in the future or you just want to see my experience, I don't know. I know that I love watching vlogs like this. I'll link some of my favorites down below. I just thought that it'd be really fun to document it also for myself, not just for you guys, so that I can look back on it. And I'm very excited. So I hope you guys are excited for this vlog as well. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy journey. I'm gonna take you guys through the entire thing. <sighs> I am so stressed but i am so excited to take you guys along this journey with me so i guess without further ado let's get into the vlog and i'll take you to past britney from december 4th when we found out who the mentors were gonna be for amm round eight okay it's december 4th the author mentor match mentor list has just gone live today i was out christmas shopping and so i couldn't check it but i have their twitter accounts notifications turned on so i got the notification while i was shopping that the list had gone live and all i did was like go on the website and just saw that it was there i didn't actually like click into it or anything i am freaking out like i don't even think it has their wish list on there yet i think it's just who the mentors are but i'm freaking out so i'm on the website it has the official countdown for round eight 37 days that's terrifying oh my god okay i found it so we are pleased to announce our lineup of mentors for round eight full mentor profiles will be posted on the site in the coming weeks okay so full profiles are not posted yet like i thought <gasps> okay i'm seeing i'm seeing some good ones i don't recognize a lot of these names there's a couple that i recognize i want i want to submit to them but like of course i have to wait for their wish list to go live so i can see if they're actually interested in my book i am freaking out this is literally so exciting. I can't wait for for their things to go up so I can see who would want my book. This is crazy. This is feeling real. Like I've looked at their like mentors before but never with the intention of actually submitting. But like I'm actually submitting this time. I am fully freaking out right now. Okay. It is December 14th and it is the first day of hashtag AMM party so I was not originally planning on announcing to the public to Twitter or to YouTube that I was doing AMM until it was over but then I found out about AMM party where there are question prompts for every single day leading up to the submission rounds opening and mentee hopefuls answered all the questions and I was like I don't want to miss out on any single part of this experience just because I'm a little fearful of announcing it publicly and so I'm really happy that I'm doing but today was day one and you basically just had to introduce yourself and your book so i i did it i'll put my tweet up on the screen as i read it to you guys but i said here goes day one hi amm party i'm Brittany, around 8 amm minty hopeful i write YA contemporary fiction and my current book is about a girl whose dream is to attend a book festival in california the only problem she has no money and really bad anxiety so that is that i'm not gonna read these to you guys every single day but i just thought i would do it to kick it off like i'm really excited about amm and i just think doing this every single day will be a great way to get excited about it and to connect with the community and i just think it's gonna be so much fun i've also been lurking in the hashtag and liking other people's tweets and i'm just i'm feeling really really excited and really hopeful i'm trying not to get my hopes up too too much because obviously a lot of people submit to amm so the chances of me getting it aren't necessarily the highest but i desperately want it so i guess we're just gonna have to be hopeful while also not like expecting too much but i'm just having i'm having a good time so i will definitely keep you guys updated on what's happening the mentor list should be dropping soon because amm did tweet yesterday saying that they were putting together the profiles so i'm really excited and i'll definitely update you guys 
when that happens. So it's currently the 15th of December. I'm currently in a live stream right now, which I feel really awkward about. So we're gonna see if anyone notices that I am currently filming myself. I have started my query and my synopsis. So for AMM, you have to submit a query letter and also a one-page synopsis, I believe, which basically details your entire book like you spoil the entire book essentially and i'm really i'm really nervous it's so stressful so the query i'm following alexa dunn's formatting with the hook the book and the cook so if you guys want to check that out i'll try to link all of the resources i've used down below so so far i think i have the hook i'm not sure i have it part of the book and I have the cook which is my bio paragraph and then for my synopsis I'm following Susan Dennard's worksheet that I found on a website that I believe Alexa Dunn linked in one of her videos so I'll also link that down below but I have my opening image the protagonist intro and the inciting incident I don't know if I'm doing it correctly I'm really nervous I'm gonna try to get people to read this over before I like send it to AMM obviously but I'm very stressed it is so stressful to try to like summarize your book and make it sound interesting to somebody who has not read the book I'm very stressed and I don't know if I'm doing a good job because this is my first time ever writing a query or a synopsis for this book or any book actually I've never done this before so I'm very stressed but hopefully I can get it done okay so author mentor match has dropped the mentor wish lists and I'm freaking out because I've been waiting for this for weeks literally since December 4th and they announced the mentors so I am freaking out it's currently the 20th of December I'm gonna click on it and we're gonna look at it for the first time I'm I'm freaking out round eight mentors I am freaking out okay so I'm gonna look at this and I will update you guys at some point about how I feel I'm gonna try to compile a list of mentors I'm I'm freaking out this is so exciting it is not even funny how many tabs I have opened. These are all different mentors that all do contemporary books. I haven't looked at any of them yet. But these are all the ones that had contemporary on their like immediate wish list. So now I'm gonna look at them and I'm freaking out. Okay, it's much later now, but I have a list of possible mentors that I could submit to. Some I'm more certain of than others. I have like a whole list of them on a pad of paper and I have all of their wish lists bookmarked on my computer. But I think what I wanna do, because it's currently almost midnight, is over the next couple of days I'm gonna sit down and kind of write down the key things from all of their wish lists and just kind of things that pop out to me as reasons why I think they might be a good fit for my book and also maybe also put reasons why they might not be some like pros and cons I suppose just so I can kind of really organize everything in my head and kind of put details to the names instead of just having names on a list I'm gonna do that over the next couple of days because I have currently more than four mentors that I could submit to and we're only allowed to submit to four and I want to have like the best list possible I think that they are allowed to like share with other mentors because I know from vlogs that I've watched of other people it's been experiences where people who they haven't submitted to or they get emails where they're like are you okay with another mentor looking at your book and possibly working with a mentor you didn't submit to so I know that is a possibility but I want to try to get it as right as possible in that first try but I am very excited about a couple of the mentors because a couple of them seem to have things that really align with what my book's about so I'm feeling optimistic but also very very nervous this is super nerve wracking because now that the mentor wish lists are out and I'm actually like making lists of who I could submit to it's feeling it's it's feeling very very real at this point and I'm feeling very nervous I'm also gonna get my friends who are reading the book or who have read the book to look at some of the people I'm thinking of submitting to so they can help me see if they would be a good fit if they also agree I am I'm super nervous at the moment like I'm super nervous but I think this is all good like I'm just excited about the possibilities of things who knows what's gonna happen it's all it's all a mystery to me but I am looking forward to over the next couple of days figuring out the whole mentoring wish list situation update on my query and my synopsis I have not been working on it for the past few days so I need to get back to it but very nervous about it I think what I might do is grab some books off my shelf like my favorite contemporaries and just see the synopsis because I've heard people recommend that you do that because that's essentially what a query is is back cover copies I think I'm mainly struggling with like the opening to the query like the hook of the query this should be very interesting I've never done anything like this before so I'm just I'm very nervous we, we shall see how it goes but I'll definitely try to update you guys over the next couple of days we are getting close to Christmas here so we're, we're getting a little busy so we'll just have to wait and see but I'm I was not expecting for the mentor wish list to go up so late at night I mean it didn't go up that late at night but I like I had plans with friends over video chat so I wasn't able to like fully get into it but this is crazy so I'll update you guys later but Wow. So it's currently the 4th of January, I believe, and AMM is like six days away. Like the submission window opens in like six days. And I'm 
freaking out because I am not ready. I have so many things still left to do. My beta readers are all done reading my book, so it's time to like, go into full gear with revising. I don't want to do too many revisions before AMM, but I want to do kind of like the most important ones that I think will affect the book the most and affect the reading experience of it the most. And I also want to do like some line edity things and just make sure that the first 50 pages are really good. And then also, of course, I need to do the synopsis, which I'm dreading, but I am putting it off for right now just because some of my revisions from my beta readers regard the ending. And so I don't want to be doing the synopsis if like I'm going to be changing things in the book since the synopsis is supposed to spoil your entire book. So there's that. But I did finish my query, I think. I had a draft of it and then I sent it to a few people. They really helped me with it. I need to send it back to them to see if I addressed what they wanted me to fix. And then I might send it to one more person. I'm not entirely sure. But I have have like a solid draft of a query letter which I'm really happy with. I'm feeling good about that. So now really all I gotta do is do a synopsis and do some revisions. But yeah, I think I might end up submitting probably in the second half of the submission window. The submission window is open from the 11th to the 14th. So I'm thinking I'll probably submit on the 13th or the 14th. During Ask AMM, a lot of mentors were saying that it doesn't matter when you submit within the window. People were saying, oh, is it better to submit earlier rather than later? And they're like, no, because we read all of our submissions. So it really doesn't matter when I submit as long as it's within that window So we're just going to see how everything is going how prepared I am by the time it rolls around But I am getting so nervous. I had a dream about AMM and it was like the weirdest thing ever It was like set in my high school for some reason like you know how dreams just don't make sense This makes no sense, but we were in my high school COVID was still very much a thing in my dreams We were all like wearing masks and there was a person there who said they had COVID and they looked awful But they were just like lying on the floor. That was weird. You had to like go stay Stand by the mentor that you wanted to pick you the most and they would like read your book in front of you it was really odd but like AMM has made it into my dreams so that's how you know that I'm stressing out about it I'm just so excited like regardless of whether or not I get into AMM I think that this has just been such a fun experience and I'm just really happy that I am putting myself out there and at least trying to do it I mean this is just an adventure and I'm having a good time I'm really stressed out about it but I'm having a good time so I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on revisions. I'm gonna try to work so hard in these next few days to get everything done. I'm gonna go ahead and start those revisions now. Okay, so it's currently the 5th of January. I almost said December. It's not December. And I'm just feeling so eternally grateful for all of my friends who are currently helping me get this book to where it needs to be and get my query letter to where it needs to be for AMM. And I'm just... My friends are always supportive and they're always making me feel like I can do this. But with last year being such a difficult year in terms of working, on this book specifically just to have all of their support just means the absolute world and while they would always support me before reading the book I would always chalk it up to oh they just haven't read the full book yet once they read the full book they're not going to be thinking the same way but I feel like it's just intensified since they've read the book and I'm just feeling literally so grateful like that's the only way I can put it I am just so so grateful for all the help that everyone is giving me and all the encouragement that they're spewing my way. I had my friend Kath read over my query and my first 50 pages again because she beta read the book for me so I wanted her to reread the first 50 pages once I implemented some of her notes just to make sure that I was on the right track and since for AMM the first 50 pages is what you submit or the first three chapters whichever is longer and her enthusiasm for the book and for everything just made me feel so happy and there's a part that she didn't like when I had originally sent the book to her and she wanted me to cut it all together but I felt really really attached to it and I didn't want to cut it so I was trying ways to make it work and to edit it in a way that would make her like it or at least make her like it a bit more and when she read over the newly edited 50 pages she actually ended up loving that scene that she wanted me to cut and that just made me so happy because I really didn't want to delete it and also my other beta readers had liked it so it was just kind of like a her thing but I did cut it down she liked it a lot better I also sent my query and first 50 pages to my friend Haley because she expressed some interest in reading the book but I don't want to send her the full thing at the moment since I'm editing it but I figured giving her the query and the first 50 pages would be a kind of a good indicator of maybe what a mentor might be thinking when they get the book because my beta readers have the full book at their disposal so they're not paying attention to what's happening at that 50 page mark whereas Haley, if I just send her the first 50 pages that's all she's getting so she'd be able to give me a good idea of 
of if those first 50 pages were actually good and would make her want to read more and she just sent me her notes and they nearly made me cry and I'm just feeling very emotional about writing at the moment as I usually am they were just so sweet like I literally was just sat here nearly crying because my friends are just so supportive I love them so much I literally love them so much so I'm just feeling so grateful I also had Rocky from Blonde with a Book I read over my query letter she was so kind to do that and take time out of her day to do that so she read that and she gave me critiques and helped edit the query letter and I'm just so grateful for her help as well I just everybody also Rachel who's also submitting to AMM she helped me with my query letter as well I'm literally so grateful to everybody for helping me I'm feeling so grateful so I'm gonna get back to editing the book now <laughs> I've been working on it literally all day and we only have oh my god we have five days and three hours left five days three hours and 25 minutes that is insane so what that that's crazy is i need to edit this book like speedy fast and it's taken me a long time to get through it anyways i just specifically wanted to, to jump on here and just say how grateful i am for everybody so if you guys are watching this video i really appreciate you and all of you who have read this book and have helped me with the query or anything like you've made me cry almost 100 times i just I love you so much I got a request for my full manuscript. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, hi. It's the 12th of January, and yesterday, last night, I submitted my book, or the first 50 pages of my book, and I wasn't planning on doing it until today, but I was feeling so anxious, and I just wanted to get it out of my hands, and I wanted to rest, because guys, I'm so tired, and so I was like, you know what? It's like, it's ready to go. I'm just gonna send it off. So I did. All the mentors kept saying that they weren't gonna be requesting for fulls until after the submission window ends, which is on the 14th. So I was not expecting to hear anything. I was expecting radio silence until at least it was over. But like, even then I was like, am I gonna get a request like for a full I don't know and so I was just kind of expecting the worst hoping for the best and like whatever I was not expecting to get a request for a full but guys it's the 12th and I woke up to an email requesting my book I literally woke up and I was screaming and shaking so it says hello thank you for submitting to us the mentors would love to read more could you send your full manuscript please send it along as an attachment and reply to this email chain I'm freaking out. So the thing about AMM is they don't tell you which mentor is requesting your book and I'm pretty sure they only ask you for it once. So if more mentors who you submit to want to read the full manuscript, they won't tell you I'm pretty sure. So this is like the only one I'm gonna get. This only email and I'm freaking freak out because how cool is that and there's this thing on twitter called hashtag amm teasers where the mentors have been posting like vague things about their submissions some of them have been talking about how in love they are with some of them and rosie last night even said that she requested a full and broke her own rules so i immediately went to all the mentors that i had submitted to to see if any of them had said anything about requesting a full it's been radio silence along all of their things like none of them have said anything and so i have no idea who wants my book right now and i'm freaking out but i literally just woke up like i woke up i looked at my phone um, to turn my alarm off i saw my notifications so i started to like go through them and then i saw the email icon and normally when i see my email icon it's like spam it's like my mom sending me that i have a book from the library like it's nothing like of significance so i was not expecting and then i saw amm and i was like oh my god is something wrong with my submission and then i like clicked on it and no there's nothing wrong with my submission and I'm freaking out. So, um, you guys are going to be here with me while I send my full manuscript. I'm so scared. Like, what if they don't like it? I'm... <sighs> okay. I'm sending my full book. I am sending my full book. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, okay. Okay. It's the right one? Yeah, okay. Send. <laughs> guys like i don't know if you guys understand like if this is the first video you're seeing from me and you haven't followed along my journey like 
writing this book has been so difficult I started it in 2018 so this is the fifth draft of my book and that's what I've sent them and it's been such a ride like 2020 was so crazy in general but also just like personally for writing it was really really hard I'm just this makes me so happy and like I don't know if I made a clip talking about this but like my dreams for AMM is obviously to get a mentor but I kept saying like it's okay if I if I don't like it's okay if I don't get a mentor but at the very least I would love to be requested for a full because that in and of itself is like a compliment and an accomplishment so I was like no matter what like I just want a request for a full so like I did that I did it I did it I did it okay I'm feeling really good right now like I'm really happy and now I'm gonna go chill out on the couch and watch tv because I need a break but I am just I'm so happy <laughs> So it is now I believe the 18th of January and I just want to do a little bit of an update. So it's been a week since I've submitted to AMM, nearly a week since I got my full request which was the last time you guys saw me. So I currently have no idea if more mentors that I sub to or just more mentors in general wanted to read my book. So I have no idea who has looked at my book, who's interested in it, I have no idea. All I know is that someone has read my full manuscript or at least looked at my full manuscript which is so nerve-wracking and I've basically been in a pit of anxiety <laughs> for the last week constantly checking the AMM teasers hashtag on Twitter which is just not it's just not healthy it was particularly bad the first two days so the day that I got my request for a full manuscript and then the next day were the worst days because I was just constantly checking Twitter I'm feeling so nervous because I haven't seen anyone talk I mean there have been some tweets that could potentially be about my book, but like, it's just like a very general tweet. So I'm like, I have no idea. But I'm feeling the anxiety, wondering like, have they forgotten about my book? Do they not like my book? Do they not care about my book? And now I'm just getting the anxieties and I'm trying to like set my expectations low. I'm like, the minimum thing that I wanted to happen out of this was to get a full request. So I just need to be happy that I got that and not worry too much about what happens next. But I'm trying not to be too stressed because the mentors are super busy right now with all of the books that they have to look at and all of the decisions I have to make. So I understand why there are like no teasers right now of things that could be relating to my book and why I haven't heard anything but I am just oh my little anxious brain just won't stop worrying in my head and I'm just like so I'm feeling very very anxious at the moment but I'm getting a bit better I'm checking the hashtag less and less which I feel like is very healthy but yeah basically I'm just trying to lower my expectations and not feel like just because I got a full manuscript request that means I'm gonna get a mentor because that's not how it works but you know what I feel like what's good about this whole situation is that I have a plan regardless of what happens if I get a mentor I'll revise my manuscript if I don't get a mentor I'll revise my manuscript so like I have a plan either way of course I really want to get a mentor like desperately want to get a mentor just because I think it's going to be so invaluable to have one and I really want to make that like connection and friendship but like I have a plan for if I don't get picked so that I'm not just going to be like in a pit of despair I know that I'm going to get sad if I don't get picked and I know I'll cry because that's just who I am and I'm going to let myself sit in that for a few days if I don't get picked but I also know that I I know myself and I know that I can pick myself back up and get back to work and get things done so it's just a waiting game at this point because they're not announcing mentors until the week of February 3rd if feels like it's forever away but I am just feeling my time relaxing taking a break because I am so burnt out so I've essentially just been sitting on the couch I just I don't know I'm feeling really anxious about it but I'm, I have to remember that I I got a full request and that's that's what matters right now is that I was lucky enough to get a full request and just feel optimistic about the outcome of this and hope for the best but also know that I'll be okay if I don't get picked. So yeah, I will update you guys whenever I have something else to update on. AMM mentees are being announced today and I don't know what to do with myself. Oh my god. So, I just... Oh my god. So I just got a notification on my phone that the mentee selections are up and my heart is pounding. I'm clicking on it. I know I'm gonna be okay if I don't get it. I really want it. Like, I can't describe how fast my heart is beating right now. Oh my god, okay. okay middle grade, I'm not middle grade. Just 
still pounding. I was pegged. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want to cry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how to be calm. My heart is beating faster now than it was two seconds ago. actually chosen I oh my god oh my god oh my god holy shit <laughs> I I need to process <laughs> oh my god and wrap up my thoughts so I'm gonna come back to you guys later when I've calmed down a bit to wrap up this vlog Oh boy. Okay, so it is the following day. It's actually nighttime now. I needed some time to process getting picked as a mentee for AMM. Like, I'm, I'm dying. Like, I'm still not over it. I'm still, I'm still processing. It's felt like a dream almost. Like, it's just something that I wanted so desperately and I was really trying to prepare myself to not get it. And then I did. And so it's just kind of been like this whole shock of trying to wrap my head around the fact that I'm actually a mentee. Like, I'm not dreaming this. Melissa actually chose me, which is just such an amazing feeling. I was going to end the vlog last night, but me and Melissa scheduled our like first like Zoom call with each other today, and I wanted to go through that experience so I could include that in this vlog. So we did have our Zoom call today, which I was really nervous for, not necessarily for like the actual call itself, but just like in general doing a Zoom call. One, I've never used Zoom before. I'm not like in school or anything. I had no reason to use Zoom. And then just because me and Melissa never talked talked face to face before and so I'm always nervous doing that for the first time with somebody even if it's like a really close friend so that was nerve-wracking and then it was a little bit like the content of what the call was going to be it's like talking about my book and like but we got into it and it was just so lovely to talk to her like it was actually fairly easy I feel like we get along really well which was nice even laughing a lot and sometimes we like veered off topic a bit and we're talking just as friends which is really cool i hope she feels the same way <laughs> i don't know it was just so much fun i think to talk to her and i was i felt pretty at ease pretty quickly we basically just talked about my book she told me some things she liked about it she ran down her entire edit letter and we kind of like just discussed it back and forth i'm really excited like it was such a good experience i was so nervous for it but it went over really really well and i'm so excited to be working with melissa and to kind of just like go over everything with her it just feels so amazing to have somebody have read my book not owing me anything and to enjoy it enough to pick me over everyone else who submitted to her and it's just ah it's so crazy like to think about and so i'm just absolutely freaking out at the moment and i'm still like i said processing everything but also just like our initial conversations were just so nice like, we literally just said hi to each other after the announcements were made she dm'd me she got this banner made for me i'll put it on the screen she got this banner made for me and it like says my name on it and it has like lila and beckett on it and it says why a contemporary author and I made it my Twitter banner. I almost cried because it was so unexpected. Like she didn't say anything else. We didn't talk at all. She just sent it to me. She's like, I got this made as a present for you. And I was like, oh my God. Like it made me want to cry. And then also with like her announcement tweet saying that she was so excited to be like mentoring me. She put an aesthetic, which was just so cute. I feel so incredibly honored to be working with Melissa. I will link all of her information down below. She also has a booktube channel. So I'll link all of her information down below. I am so, so grateful to her for choosing me and for wanting to work with me. I feel so lucky and so honored just to have been picked at all and to now be a part of the author mentor match family. Like I'm just so excited for this like the whole journey and everything. I also got so much love on my tweet yesterday talking about how I got a mentor. If you guys congratulated me in any sort of way, thank you. I couldn't keep a smile off of my face yesterday. I was literally just so happy and just so excited and I, I really felt loved by the community which was really nice. I'm just really happy that I did AMM. It was such a good decision. Even if I didn't get picked, it still would have been such an amazing experience. So if you are a writer and if you are thinking of possibly one day entering into AMM, I highly recommend it. I'll be linking their website and their information down below if you guys want to go check it out for yourself. It's literally been one of the best experiences. I'm going to look back on this vlog, I guarantee you, like at least once a month because I'm just going to want to rewatch it all the time. I could get mushy about this for literal hours and this vlog is already quite long, so I am going to let you go. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have made it to the end, I appreciate you so much for following me along this crazy journey. I've been literally been filming this vlog since December. 
crazy. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you have not yet already. Also make sure to subscribe to Melissa down below because she has an amazing channel. I love her. I binge watched my her videos last night because I was just so excited. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!